Before we really start this video, I want to do a little <laughs> refresher. So back in the spring of 2022, Martin started digging at the spot that we had chosen to be our future building sites. With the climate in mind, our plan is to dig into the hillside as much as possible to help with cooling during the summer. He had come quite a long way already when it was time for a summer stop due to the heat and fire regulations. So yeah. we waited in the hopes of getting back in full force in the fall. Then as part of preparing the site to dig more and start building, Martin needed to clear and burn some brush for which he used a digger and then it wouldn't start again. <laughs> The machine that was essential for our plan stopped working in the most inconvenient place, of course. We tried more things than I can count and in the end had our friend drag it down the mountain next to where we currently live. After getting multiple opinions, we ordered and waited and waited for several different parts and then we realized that the motor needed to come out. It was a whole ordeal. Anyway, so the, co uh, the motor is currently still being worked on, but we have the hope it might be running again before the end of the year. The day after Frank pulled down our digger, he also took a day to level out the platform Martin had started earlier that year. Good morning. It's another chilly morning here in Portugal and uh, we're already on the top. Um, I have a taxi service to the top with the 4x4 and um, he just refilled the, the digger. And um, as you have seen yesterday, it took all day to get the excavator all the way down to the bottom. And um, today is uh, the day that we just want to make some progress with uh, the build and therefore uh, Frank is gonna spend all day to make the platform or the two platforms where we haven't decided yet because we don't know what we'll find but he'll try and dig down to the lower level and spread out all the the, the loose soil that we needed to spread out to get the digger out yesterday uh, to make it into a nice platform so that we can build um, so uh, first let's measure out what we have here and what the, the aim is. And the aim is, is somewhere around 15 by 10 uh, meters, that is. Uh, so um, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do. We gaan het zien. Ik ben nu al op 14 meter. Ja. Dus eigenlijk zou je, uh, redden we het makkelijk. Dat is eigenlijk de conclusie. Dat, uh, ja. Ja, dat is goed. Ja, en 10 zou zo moeten zijn. Dus als jij nog even naar die hoek zou kunnen. So, as you can see, Frank is leaving in the background. He's had enough. It's also getting dark and uh, he's only been here for two days, or he was supposed to be here for two days. Um, what has he done in that time? He's made a beautiful plateau in two levels because there are many rocks here. Uh, so we just decided to have uh, 
part of the house just be a little bit higher and have an indoor step, which is fine. Um, and then uh, it's massive. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's the 15 meters going that way and about, well, 15 as well that way, but then with a step after 10 meters. So it's divided in 10 and five on that side and 10 on this side and five on that side. So it's diagonal more or less. We're all very excited. Bo is very tired. So I'll just bring him down with me and um, yeah. Time for the next step, super exciting. Hopefully the digger will get finished, but yeah, at least we can continue. Cheers. This September, we were done waiting on the digger to be fixed, and so Martin started digging out some more areas by hand. dat het dan zo verschil maakt. Much of the area proved to be too hard for using a pickaxe, so we decided to also invest in a new jackhammer. This turned out to be a great decision as it worked much better than our previous one and had given us the opportunity to really smooth out the back wall properly. Find a way. 
For something that matters Hello everyone, uh, the kids are at my parents so that we can recharge our batteries. And speaking of batteries, here's a big box with a Blue Eddy on it. It's a big battery. The EP500 Pro is here. Um, we've reached out to Blue Eddy because we, uh, uh, ha yeah, we noticed that we have a goose uh, or bottleneck uh, in our energy system, mainly storage. And this one, the Pro one, has uh, 3000 watts inverter and 5100 watt hours of uh, storage. So uh, this is a major improvement to us. This is like a proper home battery. So let's unpack, uh, unpack this thing. Okay, past inspection, quality control. Cables. See? Ah. I am fast. Yeah, I have to come close. Okay, plastic. So. Okay, I actually don't know much about this, so this is actually my first impression of this thing. And I mean, it's a unit and uh, it's beautiful, uh, slick. Uh, we haven't turned it on yet, but there are, are some, some hidden compartments here. So the, on top you have all the DC stuff, uh, like a cigarette uh, thing and an RV connection and uh, some old adapter connections, which is still handy to have. USB stuff, USB-C 100 watts and USB-A 5 volts, 3 amp and then some new USB-A. Yeah, it's uh, 18 watts twice and then wireless stuff. And on, on the front you have some outputs, these are the AC outputs, yeah, like the, the, the normal European connections, super nice. And then at the bottom here you have some inputs and I'm sure these go with the cables that come included in the bag. Yeah, that's it. This thing is quite heavy, uh, it's 80 kilos. Um, it doesn't come with off-road tires, so we had to carry it up, so it was heavy. But if you're on a concrete slab or at home, uh, you can roll it quite easily on your own uh, around. Um, 
Yeah, uh, this is the battery shack that we built uh, originally for our lead acid batteries, uh, but they gave out uh, months after we received our first uh, Blue Eddy and um, the AC200 Max, which has been serving as our main home battery and pretty much our only home battery uh, ever since. And uh, although it's great and it works, but you, uh, but if you have a full household uh, and you have a long winter time, we we're uh, struggling a bit uh, at the end of uh, a week with rain or whatever. Uh, so this is more than doubling our storage space and it also ups our inverter power. So this is a major improvement to us. And um, yeah, and it also fits into our original battery shack. Um, so yeah, perfect. Happy days. Oh, it's so funny. So it comes with a connector. Uh, the other one only had two poles and this one has four or, or prongs. But anyways, it's... Ah, so you can have two separate arrays on it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. So that's why you have four. And, and then I don't know how much you can do with one. Yeah, this is for just for the 220 or the the mains power. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we don't have mains. No, so. no. We we're off grid in that sense. But we're never truly off grid. No, no. The grid haunts us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the only thing you have to watch out for is that you put the DC one DC one both the negative as well as the positive on the same array. So you have a whole second connection for the second array. This one can go up to 1200. And then you have this one. It's oriented by these uh, little tabs or... So you can't do it wrong. Let's, uh, let's push and... old school computer. Screw it in. Charging with 644 watts at the moment. And then we can uh, put back our outputs. <laughs> this is for the yurt. Um, this one's for uh, the kitchen. And then uh, we uh, have to crawl in one more time later on to earth this whole thing. But that's uh, for in the evening. <laughs> if you want to have a look at this model from Bluetti, I will leave an affiliate link in the description box down below. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Every 
everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it over the five Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? And I saw you In an effort to uh, work on the bottlenecks of our road, we're now at the bottom corner uh, and uh, the first truck that came in had some trouble making this turn. So therefore we uh, dropped in some more tufna or like uh, gravel with sand in between here to uh, decrease the camber of the road in this corner. Uh, and we are removing this route now. Um, and uh, we've been widening the road up there. But uh, yeah, this was the next bit that needed to be done. Um, trying to decrease or uh, minimize the damage that the chain will get on this route. But yeah, I'll uh, see what I can do. It's, uh, it needs to go, it's too high. Yeah? I need to roll the line. Something is still connected. <laughs> okay, so that's the first bit. <laughs> and then maybe, if we're lucky, I can now get leverage on this one. But, uh, yeah, that's loose now. Yeah, if, if we can open it up enough so that I can see where I should yeah. cut. I'll just hold it. Or you break it off. Yeah. Well, I can now cut it. This is not how to do it. <laughs> How to dull your blade in minutes. <laughs> but cool. it's out and this is good. Jump over. Yeah.
All right, uh, another bottleneck in our road building endeavor is this uh, first bend over here. Um, it's uh, always been an issue because this was one of the places where the rock was sticking out and with the old jackhammer I could only do so much. But with this new one I want to give it another go and see if I can push it even further back, making this bend easier for people to drive around or manage. I'm fine, but guests may, may not be. And delivery drivers. Well, that, those are guests too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the goal of this whole endeavor is to push this big rock back or lower it at least so we can drive over it. Um, but because all the shisto is layered and the layers run this way, it's easier to not attack this bit, but to start on that side and remove layers. Uh, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to move this all, this whole corner back, making this wider and nicer. <laughs> There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am home? So uh, this has been my office for the past few months trying to uh, solve a massive issue that we had here which was this massive rock over here and and this corner over here where I just couldn't get through with the excavator. Um, however with the new jackhammer we were able to remove all this and this makes the back wall built for our house much easier and straightforward although it's not a straight wall um, we have some work to do but uh, yeah what what is now possible instead of having a wall that goes around or over that massive rock which is then impossible to make watertight we can make a continuous wall that runs along this 
cliff <laughs> uh, and uh, turns here and then yeah makes some for a much nicer wall in the end and because this is going to be earth back housing we have to be able to keep this wall uh, dry um, it doesn't have to be completely dry but dry enough that it can dry out throughout the year um, so that that's is the issue here and uh, to to be able to have a continuous wall on the, on the same height it makes life so much easier uh, for underground construction and yeah that's why we did it like this and that's the reason why we want to spend time on this instead of uh, yeah just continuing uh, solving or working around that issue all right uh, well uh, Leia has done a little bit of an in introduction in the beginning about the uh, digger but to go into a little bit more detail on why everything takes forever uh, with the digger uh, it essentially needed a rebuild uh, because uh, we found a couple of things the timing was out of out of time and uh, that's uh, indication that uh, the timing changed chain was uh, up for replacement so we took it apart or we brought it to someone who is skilled enough to take it apart and as he took it apart he found uh, a bent valve uh, or two and um, a damage to the head and we tried to source a new head or a repaired one or whatever uh, but after weeks or months of searching we haven't found one so uh, we repaired the head and uh, that turned out to be a much more uh, cost-effective way to do it um, and now we're waiting for the mechanic and for uh, my mom to bring the valves back from the Netherlands that she forgot to bring um, and then uh, hopefully in a, in a couple of weeks the engine will now be uh, rebuilt uh, and uh, then it should be good to go again so uh, super exciting um, but that's also a major factor in why we had to put this on a lower uh, yeah um, speed or in a lower gear um, that's an update yep. on the digger <laughs> So uh, for now, the upcoming weeks, we will be continuing our work on this uh, corner here with a jackhammer. And then when the, the digger is finally up and running, we will clean this all up and then finally start the build uh, of our earthback house. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>